Hey guys, what's up? It's the Maverick the Enigma here back again bringing you some more Soul Calibur. Let's play Soul Calibur 3. This time we're going to be playing as Shangwa. I'm going to rock with the Northern Star. <sighs> Her voice is a little annoying, but it wasn't as annoying when she was in Soul Calibur 2. Leaving the injured Kilik in Edgemaster's care, Shangwa returned to her home country of Ming. After returning to her country, Shangwa placed herself under the tutelage of an old general, per Edgemaster's suggestion. There, Shangwa devoted herself to her training with the sole desire of growing stronger. Her skills increased visibly, but she could not clear away the shadow of uneasiness from her heart. However, one day as she began to train her mind, her heart would be as water, letting everything pass through without breaking. After several months, feeling that her heart was now ready, she politely thanked her teachers and once again set out on a journey. When she met Keelix, she would say proudly, Sorry to keep you waiting, I've finally caught up to you. Looks like shang has got a little crush, doesn't she? Anyway, even alone, there must be things she could do. Pursuing the cursed sword by herself. Shangwa continued her journey west. Soul Edge was rampaging across Europe, as she had also met the man Kielik had fought in that land. She was certain she was heading in the right direction. Eventually, she arrived in Egypt and had heard that she had heard that a temple there had been destroyed by a sword. Could this destruction have been wrought by Soul Edge? Chico. I'll stop. What's cracking, young son? Yo, them pants is fire. Da, God. Mm. Mm. What? Take this. No. I like that. I like that. The young man with whom they had crossed swords with was apparently not the one who had destroyed the temple. He had most likely come to investigate it just as she had. Questioning people afterwards, she learned that the one who destroyed the temple was a man in Azure armor. She was now certain that the Azure knight, against whom she had faced off in the past, was still causing calamity. This was Soul Edge in hand. She tried to identify where the man had gone, but she found no definite answer. Let's head to the castle which the Azura Knight had once dwelt. Let's go there. Shangwa had faced off against the Azura Knight once before. Many years had passed since that time he had taken Soul Edge in hand and committed massacre after massacre, becoming synonymous with terror. That time she had been together with Kilik and Messi, but this time she was all alone. She entered the ruined castle despite its crumbling long walls. A thick evil energy still remained. I wonder what this could be. Bring it. Oh, no. No. Come here. Oh. Man, this girl's personality, man. <laughs> No, no, no. Chill out, Revenant. That was kind of cool. Man, this chick's flashy. I mean that in both ways. Ha! I'll stop. The thing had attacked her was not a living being, but a skeletal puppet. After defeating it, Shangwa gazed out over this castle through which she had fought her way. It appeared that the evil energy here was still active. It would not be wise to stay long, but she should finish her business quickly. Looking for traces of the Azura Knight, she began searching the castle. Soon she felt the presence. She could clearly feel its evil energy. Who was it? <laughs> <laughs> oh. um. 
Tira, you were the you were the best the best looking Tira I've seen is the one in this game, man. Ain't no Tira like this one. Ah! Chill out. Chill out. Chill out. Chill out. Chill out. Wow. Throw her. Boom. The girl slipped away and ran. The evil energy had been identical to that of Soul Edge. Shangwa pursued the girl at once, but she was already out of sight. From the excitement of the birds, she could barely make it out of the direction the girl had gone. If she was going to pursue her, she would have to make up her mind right now. What should she do? Mm. Let's follow her. Shangwa tried to go after their fading presence, but birds blocked her path several times. In the end, she lost track of the girl. She was disheartened, but she had no choice but to keep pressing forward. She resumed her slow, steady gathering of information. Her hard work seemed to bear fruit a short time later when she heard rumors of a young man seeking Soul Edge. Just as she was, in this way, she was reunited with Killick. Killick had been collecting information on his own as well. They shared with each other what they knew and formulated plans about what to do next. They needed to determine the whereabouts of the Azur, excuse me, the Azur Knight Nightmare who presumably carried the cursed sword. A man, learning of a man who was studying the massacres the Azur Knight had caused, they traveled to the city in which he lived. However, the mansion to which they were heading was engulfed in flames. Excuse me. Chill, 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 chill. Mmm, can you do something else better than that? That was cool. I swear, she reminds me of Shao Yu. I'm going to uh, hurry ahead. The girl they had captured turned out to be seeking information on the Azure Knight just as they were, and she claimed to not have started that fire. That night, a suspicious man had been seen asking around for the whereabouts of people who knew of the Azure Knight. Pursuing rumors of the man, they arrived at a clock tower of a certain temple. However, something seemed wrong. Things were too going too smoothly. It might be a trap. Asking Keelik to keep watch outside, Shangwa opened up the door.